Conflict between nations. War has broken out in Europe. Russia attacked and invaded Ukraine. There are more than 40 active conflicts around the world at the moment. Seeing what has been featured in the news not only in Ukraine but throughout this damn world was and still is so heartbreaking. So many lives have been lost and so much destruction has occurred. Our thoughts and prayers are with those families on both sides who have lost loved ones, particularly the Ukrainians with young children and the elderly fleeing the bombs. Families have been displaced from one another, husbands left behind, soldiers along with volunteered civilians defending their beloved country and fellow men. People have been queuing for days in the freezing cold as millions flee to the border crossings into Poland, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia or Moldova. Everyone is so cold, hungry and tired. The reality is that there will be difficult times, trials, tribulations, natural calamities, violence, wars, rumors of wars, as prophesied in the Bible. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Matthew chapter 24 verses 6 to 8 KJV As Bible believing born again Christians, no matter what happens in this world, despite the hardships of life, trials, persecution, we find safety and strength in God. It is only by God's grace and power that we stand at all. Sufferings will end, but blessings will endure forever for those who are in Christ. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm chapter 46 verse 1 KJV We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed. Always burn about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 8 till 10 KJV While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 KJV What is happening in Ukraine could happen to any country. We hope that this will be a wake-up call for everyone. Some people assume that their plans are permanent and last forever. Life is so fragile. Here today is gone tomorrow. We come into the world with nothing and we leave this world with nothing. All that matters is our eternal destination, heaven or hell. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapour that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. James chapter 4 verse 14 KJV For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 7 KJV it is time to repent, change your mind from the rejection of Jesus Christ, to be sorry for who you are and what you are, believe in the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ alone, not in our good works. We will be judged not on the good works that we have done, but on the sins that we have committed. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20 KJV 
Jesus Christ's precious bloodshed on the cross at Calvary will cleanse you from all sins. God will grant you eternal life, change you from within, give you a new heart, a spiritual change with new desires to do what's righteous and nobody can pull you out of his hand. Read the Bible daily and ask God to help you obey what you read. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 KJV And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John chapter 10 verse 28 KJV Blessings in Christ David and Gay Please visit our website onewaytograce.com Google One Way to Grace YouTube One Way to Grace and you can read the first couple of chapters free of our book of our life story One Way to Grace on Amazon and thank you. May God bless you all.